y'all doing another car video canard vernon stewart here for the podcast we're talking auburn football go ahead and like the video comment and subscribe to vernon speak sports auburn and as always it's great to be an auburn tiger war eagle man i've been sitting on my ass all day looking at film review on a lot of teams man i'm very impressed with uh george especially on defense those guys are gonna be pretty good this year we've got a, a couple of guys lined up from the georgia uh, part of the podcasting world that's going to join me the week that we play Georgia and uh, very impressed with them very impressed with uh, Kentucky as well especially they got Terry Wilson coming back at quarterback got a solid offensive line solid on defense uh, those guys are very well coached I think this is going to be a really nice challenge for the Auburn Tigers especially as Auburn comes into the second season with Bo Nix This is actually uh, pretty good for Gus Malzahn to actually have, uh, for two years in a row, a starting quarterback. Had that with Jared Stidham. Didn't have that the years prior. Had some shaky stuff going on with Sean White and uh, Jeremy Johnson and, you know, the the quarterback carousel thing. But in Gus Malzahn's career, this is uh, starting to show some continuity at the quarterback position. You got Jared Stidham for two straight years. Now you have Bo Nix, who started as a true freshman now a sophomore with a lot of experience and I was looking at some articles on Bo Nix when you know we talked about you know what was the difference in Bo Nix between you know especially transferring uh, his talent from the high school uh, to the college ranks one we saw a lot of lack of confidence and a lot of articles talk about this i'm not the only one that's talked about this but this is something that i noticed i noticed bo nix um you know especially on podium interviews he will talk a confident game but then you get out there man the game is way faster than what he saw even in the state championship game in jordan hare stadium when he won with Pinson Valley High School. You got to remember, it's a different game. It's almost like when you get a promotion at your job, you've been functioning at a certain level, and then you mo- you show some characteristics that give the indication that you could thrive on the next level, but then you get in that, when, the, when you first get that position, you're in what we call the weeds. You, you, you know, you know you can do it, but it's, it's so fast. It, things are moving so fast. You got Zuniga from, from Florida coming at you. You got those cornerbacks at Oregon coming at you. And it's just way too fast. And if you notice the games that Bo Nix thrived were games that he was on a relative level of talent, like your Mississippi States, your Texas A&Ms, your Arkansas. Those games, you saw what he can do when he's at his level of comfort. It's not the level of talent, it's the level of comfort. I think Bo Nix can be very a very good quarterback this year. Showed a lot of good signs. One thing I, I want to see in this with Chad Morris is I want to see Bo Nix at in his truest element. And his truest element is when he's able to go to tempo. He's a very tempo-based quarterback. He's a very commanding quarterback and when you run that tempo you have to be commanding he's very good in the intermediate passing game he's not a Jarrett Stidham he's not a Jason Campbell you have to give him a situation where he controls the pace he controls the tempo and every time I've seen him even at the college level when he's able to run the hurry up no huddle when he's able to go tempo he's at his optimal level uh, from a quarterback standpoint so that's the difference. There were there were a lot of different scenarios that were thrown at Bo Nix. They were trying to figure out identity wise what kind of quarterback they wanted him to be for the Auburn Tigers, and he has to have tempo. That's his game. That's where he's at his optimal level, and that's where he's at his optimal level of confidence. And I think Gus Malzahn and Chad Morris are definitely going to have to acknowledge this, or else they're not going to get the max potential out of. Bo Nix coming into this season so let me know what you guys think about this particular video we we got the big week coming up against uh the Kentucky Wildcats welcoming welcoming them into town 12 o'clock game depending on where you're at if you're in central central uh standard time it's 11 o'clock and as always uh go ahead and like the video click the bell twice so you don't miss any of the action and as always it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle